because I'm still going to come when the campaign starts. Oh yeah. Uh, as our own father, to come privately and say we are about to commence campaign, but it turned into another thing. <laughs> but I'm sincerely grateful. When the campaign starts, I'll be able to come and tell you why we started this movement we're trying to do. It is a simple movement. A movement for the youth to take back their country. A movement that will go a long way to show how things are gone wrong in our country. So you private, and I say it every day, we can't live in a country where criminals, in all of us, call our first politician, have taken over the country. We live in a country where our children are not in school for eight months. We live in a country where sixty-five percent of our young people don't know where the next meal will come from. We live in a country where over hundred million people live in poverty. We live in a country where twenty million out of school children. We live in a country where infant mortality is we have now overtaken India a country of 1.4 billion, and we're 200. The list is endless. We live in a life where life don't make any meaning to anybody any longer. Anybody could be kidnapped, anybody could be killed, and nobody cares. We cannot continue that way. The only country government officials because I want to say who we'll done that. Still the assets of the country, 50%, over 50% of oil production is stolen. Nobody here can steal oil. Oil is not sweet you put in pocket. Those who are still oil are people in government. Subsidy is organized crime. <laughs> We are not continue that way. When I come to campaign, I understand that all that is keeping our children from going to school, all that is keeping them from going to school today, is because as through the University of Association said in 2009 that they should be giving some money to renovate schools, they were not asking money for anything. When Nigeria was what it used to be, this city was a city of reference because of the University of Ife. This university produced a world-class pharmacist that is known globally. I came here as a student in university to just come and tour the tour of Ife and see the university. I don't know how many young people now who wants to come to Ife just to see the university as the shady king, nobody. I don't know how many, because they don't even say if they come. They don't know whether they go back say. That is how bad it is. Look at the lovely thing you showed me today about the history of this famous place. That people who pay thousands in the Western world to go and see. But nobody wants to come and see them because the children are hungry. They don't know where the next meal will come from. So the university demanded just to be given 1.3 trillion in 2009. That's all they demanded. Federal government has paid them 200, paid them 200 billion and they're owing them the balance. And they said, there's no money. Yes, there's no money. And everybody agrees there's no money. But if I tell you what it means, in July, just to give an example, because I won't come to campaign, who we'll come for campaign. In July alone, we are the only open country who is 
did not produce enough quota. It only open country. In July alone, our quota is 1.8 million per day. In July, we produce 1 million 83,000. So 717 is missing. If you multiply 717 by that one day, you will give you 22 million 227,000 barrels. That's what we'll miss in July. If you multiply it by the average price of that month sales, $110,000, it will give you $2,445,000,000. If you multiply it with 550 Naira, how did I get 550 Naira? You're not using 650. They say the official rate is 410. The black market, where people like me buy, is 610. If you put two of them, it's 1,100. Divide it to get the average, you get 550. If you use 550 to multiply 2 billion, 400, 445 million dollars, it will give you 1 trillion. 
Quick, I'm going to go to the hospital. All till I come for campaign. That day, I will be able to tell you what we will do, how we will do it, how this grace it is not campaign time, but we have a vast land. My proposal is that I want to turn this place for consumption to production. People can no longer afford to live in a land where we cannot feed ourselves. What state in Nigeria can feed Nigeria? Topless of 30 states. I was in Niger State on Sunday and I told them we cannot continue to live here. Niger State is 76.3 thousand square kilometers of land. They can't feed themselves. They can't feed Nigeria. They are waiting to be giving money from Prater Oil in Niger Delta. Netherlands in Europe, minus water is at 3,000 square kilometers. Can be seen. Belgium is 30,000, 30.9 thousand in Europe, minus water is at 3,000 square kilometers. Can be seen. Belgium is 30,000, 30.9 thousand square kilometers. So Niger State is bigger than. Netherlands and Belgium put together. together. Those two countries did the export of what? almost one trillion. One trillion. That is their export. Netherlands export of food is one point one hundred and twenty billion dollars. Belgium. So both of them. Export of food products is almost two hundred billion dollars. If you combine the two of them, I'm not talking about manufactured goods. If Niger State did one percent of that, one percent, two billion dollars, is over a trillion. That's what other countries are doing. Ten more countries, countries with less than our population. We are home 209 million people living on 923,000 square kilometers of land. And our export is just about 40 billion dollars. Israel is 9 million. So if you are not 9 million, we have 200 million people still living. I will give them 9 million. They are living on 22,000 square kilometers. If you put it back on 23, we still have 900. Their export is 59.8 billion. They didn't more export than 200 million people living on almost 25 times their land. Their export is 59.8 billion. They didn't more export than 200 million people living on almost 25 times their land. They cannot continue. We must take back our country. My offer is forget about what anybody is telling you. Please. Put us on a scale. Let's vote for merit now so this country can move. Can